talking about meal planning with the Plan to Eat website. We've already talked about planning the events of the week and we've talked about how to find sale items or coupon items for that particular week and now we're going to talk about how to actually search for recipes that might match up with those sale or reduced priced items so we've mentioned already that in my particular example I noticed that pork loin boneless was on sale this week at my particular grocery store and so now I'm on the hunt to find some good recipes with pork loin in them because if it's on sale then I could probably probably make a meal a little bit cheaper than I normally could make pork loin. So I'm on the hunt for some pork loin recipes. There are many ways to do this. The first place that I would want to check for a pork loin recipe would be to go into the recipes that I already have here in Plan to Eat. These are recipes that I've either typed or imported in. Again, Plan to Eat is not a recipe plentiful site. It's not designed for that. It's designed to take recipes that you already have or that you plan to import and help you plan them and purchase them in the store. But I've already imported a few recipes here. I have 43 at the current time. And I'm going to go up here to search recipes and I'm going to type in pork loin. Now I already know I don't have any pork loin recipes, but I'm just going to show you how you would do that. We did not find any pork or loin. So I'm going to exit that search. So this site is not going to work for me to actually find pork loin recipes. I'm going to have to look elsewhere. So I'm going to show you one fun site that I have found recently called Foodily. The URL is foodily, F-O-O-D-I-L-Y dot com. And you can sign up here. Now once you sign into the site, you can go up to the search bar and here's where the fun begins. I'm going to type in pork loin. Now there are 3,229 recipes with pork loin, which is crazy. There's no way I can look through all of those. But I can narrow this down a little bit with this very nifty little click off system here. We have low carb, low fat, top rated, blogs, or quick. Now you'll notice the more I limit them, the fewer recipes we're left with. But I'm going to keep quick. I'll take off blogs, top rated, and let's leave low fat and quick. Now I've gotten down to 34 recipes, which is still plenty. And some of these look really, really good. Um, apple cranberry stuffed pork roast. Wow. There are all kinds of things and you just scroll through here. By the way, this site is completely free. There's no charge to sign up for that. But each of these recipes somehow includes pork loin in one of the ingredients. And again, I can take off any of these limiters and go back to a larger amount of recipes. So once I find a recipe that looks good to me, I need to import that into Plan to Eat. So let's just pick one here that looks good. Here's one, molasses pork loin. And the recipe is listed here as far as the ingredients, but to see the actual directions how to make that, you need to go to the original site. So I'm going to click My Man's Belly. It says Recipe at My Man's Belly. And this will take me to the site where this recipe first appeared. Here we have the ingredients again, and now we see the directions. And rather than having to type this all in by hand, which we could do, but a quicker way, Plan to Eat has created a bookmarklet that is very easy to use and I'm going to show you right now how to use it. I have already pulled this into my browser. I'm using Google Chrome right now and I already have this bookmarklet here but it's very simple. The site actually has instructions how to get that into the bookmark bar so it's not difficult at all. I'm going to go ahead and click on Save Recipe. Now this is a good example so you can see what happens. It says we were unable to import this recipe for whatever reason plan to eat was not able to import it but I can easily bring in the items here and what I can do is copy and paste the ingredients and put them here and then copy and paste the directions and put them here now I'll need to come back and edit those in a more specific way on the Plan to Eat site. But for now, I'm going to just glance over things here. I do want to include the URL as the source, so I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to mark this as main course. And I'm just glancing over things here to make sure I have most of the items here. Serves for. I can always go back to the website to check it again if I need to. And I'm going to mark it private for now just because I haven't had a chance to double check everything at this point. But I'm going to now save it to my recipe book. 
And now I can actually click on it there, be taken back to plan to eat, and edit it as needed. Now I have a pork loin recipe. I know pork loin is on sale at Food Lion this week. So I have a good looking pork loin recipe. I know the item is going to be on sale. So that's going to be a really good recipe. And then later I'll pull that over into my planner. In the next screencast I'll show you what happens when the recipe is able to be imported into Plan to Eat. But for now, I hope this screencast has helped you to show how to locate recipes in Foodily and how to get them transferred into Plan to Eat.